Hello, in this podcast we're going to do a little bit on grapher. We're going to do piecewise functions. We're going to change up the axes a little bit and we're going to mess with um, some formatting issues like the board, like putting a border around our whole graph. So we'll first start with a piecewise function. Go over here to the sigma value and you'll see that there's a condition. I always like to do one. I like to have a variety of graphs so I can turn them off and on as I please. And so we come up with two little boxes here. So I'm going to go negative, let's do a quadratic, and I'll force it to go through negative 3, and also force it to go through uh, 2. So x minus 3, sorry, x plus 3 and x minus 2. And then click here in that other little box, and we'll have uh, our condition, our domain that we'll go from. So I'm going to go from negative 3, so x has to be greater than negative 3, and x has to be less than 2. So it's going to go from negative 3 to 2. This is some very very bizarre notation for a program, but uh, that's how Grapher does it. So, so you see it starts at negative 3 and 2, but it's hard to see, so we're going to change some axes. So just click on the axes here and just type in, we'll type, type in 0 and tab over and we'll type in 10. It doesn't work very well, I don't know why, but um, and then we'll go, we'll put in 1, so we want a line at every uh, integer value, and then I, 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 don't want, I don't like these ever, so I'll just put in 0 there. And you see that, there they go. Now we're going to go down here to the x value, and let's go negative 5 to, uh, let's go negative 4 to 3 and we'll go every one again and I don't like those at all like I said and it looks like that so this is down at the bottom uh, I don't like that very much so I'm going to go up to format uh, layout and margins and just put one centimeter on all of these And it puts a nice border around it. So if you want to end up taking a screenshot, uh, this is pretty helpful. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go from negative 1 so I can see, that, see the four quadrants a little bit. There, that looks better.